We use plastic products every day. We don't often think about where they come from or how they're made. The most common form of mass production is injection molding, a complex but interesting process, with many different types of plastic used to mold plastic parts. The spirit level is also manufactured using the injection molding process. The injection molding machine used for its production consists of three main parts the injection unit, the injection mold, the closing unit. Production of the spirit level starts in the injection unit. The plastic granulate is automatically fed into a hopper and then transferred to the barrel of the extruder screw. The extruder screw in the barrel pushes the granulate towards the nozzle. Meanwhile, heater bands around the barrel heat the plastic to 250 degrees Celsius. By the time it reaches the nozzle, the granulate is completely melted. Injection molds typically consist of two halves, a fixed half and a moving half. When the two halves are moved together, the geometry forms a perfect cavity for molding the spirit level. 75 tons of closing force hold the two halves firmly together. In just 1.6 seconds and using 800 bars of pressure, the extruder screw pushes the molten plastic completely into the cavity. While the molded part cools down, the mold remains closed. Due to the cooling channels, the mold reaches a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius in approximately 13 seconds. Then both mold halves open and the parts of the spirit level are ejected. Sufficient cooling ensures that the molded parts are not damaged during ejection. The wall thickness of the finished product determines the duration of the cooling phase in the mold. Finally, the components of the spirit level can be fully assembled.